Here's how to easily define variables by using a name instead of typing the actual value or referencing a specific cell. For this example, I want to define a variable called sales tax. The first step is to go to the formulas tab. Once there, click on define name. For the name, I'll enter sales tax as one word because you can't have spaces in a variable name. For the scope field, I could make this variable available on the entire workbook or the current worksheet. For the comment, I could add additional information that may be of help to anyone else who may use this workbook. Next, for the refers to field, you could enter the cell where the value is, or you could manually enter the value directly in the field. I'll enter 13%. I'll click OK, and we're now ready to use the variable. Let's say I want to determine the sales tax on a purchase of $100. I'll start with equals, and then I'll put the value of $100, and then the multiply symbol. Then I could add the sales tax variable and complete the formula. If you use values like tax rates and such, this is where variables can really help speed your workflow. And if you ever need to edit your variables, it's really easy to do. In the formula tab, you can click on name manager and then double click to select the variable you want to edit. You can then make the change and click enter, and it will automatically update any formulas in your document that use that variable. If you found this video helpful, check out this one.